this is getting very sexy. We're going to be watching that new show on HBO Max. It's called Velma. It's animated, loosely based off of Scooby-Doo. I say loosely because they took a lot of artistic liberties when creating it, so they changed a little bit of things. Internet's not too happy about it, but we're going to watch it here. Let's get it. My name is Velma Dinkley, and this is my origin story. That's yeah, Fred it was me, fan. not Fred and his this weird sex fan. Why does she hate Daphne? Since when did Velma hate Daphne? And was that, that was Velma's book, story. right? That was her Tell writing. There way. might be like a and jealousy story underneath there. I think maybe there was some hint that she was jealous of Daphne and her, like just her good looks and her body apparently. They're still friends, she's just envious. I think that's what it is. What a weird note to start off on. Fan, this is my story told my way. And it starts with a murder, bitch. Hey, yo, hey. Not in the first eight seconds. No swearing in the first eight seconds. Brenda? Ugh. Ugh. This school sucks. <laughs> really? Is that really how roaches mate? They just hump like that? Team Girl, but topic Team of the day. Topic have you ever noticed how pilot episodes of TV shows always have more gratuitous sex and nudity than the rest of the series? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's self-aware. Kill it! <laughs> Kill it with fire! How do I get rid of this stupid fucking? Oh, there we go. It is good storytelling. Then why was your favorite part of the Riverdale pilot when Betty and Veronica kiss? Well, because it was in. Never seen Riverdale, but I know it's a meme kind of about how over-sexualized it is. Popular, but not really the best teen drama. So I've heard. I've never seen a single episode. Is this how women uh, settle their differences in the shower? They fight naked? I feel like there would be a lot more slippage. It's not really the best uh, grounds for combat. I feel like you'd be slipping and sliding everywhere. You wouldn't be able to hold steady. After all, we did just see roaches humping, so. I wouldn't even feel comfortable showering in such a place. And how do you feel about race point casting, Daphne? Oh, that's Daphne. Oh. Daphne's Asian this time around. Okay, so we know for a fact Velma's black. Oh, we also saw that Scooby is black, right? So is Fred Asian or is he white? I'm gonna say he's white. I wonder what, what Scooby looks. I mean, is Scooby... <laughs> Scooby Pomeranian. Everyone loves it when white people play Jesus or a professional boxer. Why can't it ever go the other way, right? This shit is so woke! <laughs> ah. Let's keep going. What the hell? You almost killed me! Guess, Guess I, I didn't try, try hard enough. enough. Kiss. See, See now, now if this is a show, it'd, it'd be super, super hot if you two kissed. kissed. Yeah, yeah, she's got the right idea. That's they purposely led up to that just to make that joke. Clearly. But yes, they 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 should have kissed. Brenda, wait, did you climb in my locker to prove how skinny you are again? Ugh, we get it. Oh. She has no uh, Oh shit. Oh shit. Now it's getting good. Now it's getting juicy. Hello. Anybody? Damn, where it? where are they? I didn't like like the. <laughs> this is like the hoodest hood imaginable. Betty, I know my rights. I get a phone call and a handsome detective. I infuriate with my indifference. Who killed Brenda? Velma? You're not real. You're not real. Uh, God's not real. If you two morons are running this investigation. Seriously, how long has it been since Daphne had you over to her house? Uh, since my mom went missing two years ago. Oh, right. You know what? We're no. done here. Peace. <gasps> Unfortunately, oh, shit. we're not done here. <laughs> now that's realistic. If you try to leave out of an investigation whilst being black, you will have uh, guns drawn on you. So it seems like Velma's going to be a wisecracking, woke, black teen. Probably, she's probably going to break a few fourth walls. I I'm, I'm just going to take... I'm gonna take a guess and say she's going to break a lot of fourth walls in this show, over the course of this show. This is just episode one. But I'm saying that right now, three minutes into the first episode, that she's going to break 
many fourth walls. And if she does, I'll be actually very disappointed, unless they're funny. I'm a suspect? I thought lesbians were good at solving crime. Because of your hairy gorilla arm. No, because I hate your stupid adopted daughter and her fake ass friends. And yet you and Daphne used to be best friends. Isn't that right? I see now. So, like I said, they're taking a lot of creative liberties. So it, it seems like in this story or this dimension, I don't know, Velma and Daphne are no longer friends. There might not even be a gang. Like they, they, This might be the origin story of the Scooby-Doo gang, as far as I know. Getting interesting, not gonna lie. Let's see what let's see what's going on. Rest you, but still. So good seeing you. We miss you. Say hi to your father and do dad. Dia. Let's take a look at those wanted posters that are suspiciously in the background. So I think all three of these guys were um, original villains from the original show. Uh, I don't, I, God, I don't know their names, but I do remember this clown guy. I do also remember the pirate guy. And also the gypsy. Oh, that's not a that's not a good word, right? Um, the uh, the fortune teller woman. Oh, I remember all three of these. So that's a nice little nice little Easter egg they got in here. Uh, 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 oh. Hey, watch where you're going, jerk! There he is. Maybe. You cheat off me in Spanish because you think I'm Mexican. Maybe. Wow, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, uh, first of all. How could you mistake her for Mexican? So Fred is the douchebag, pompous guy, which is a funny take. He has a golden phone, which looks pretty dope, not gonna lie. And he has his signature ascot. So his character design, is, outside of personality, is not really that much different. I have a disease where I can't recognize people who aren't hot. My doctor says it's basically sickle cell for rich guys. Is what does he mean? Velma's... This personification of Velma is incredibly sexy. It's not even ironic. I think Velma's always kind of been hot to uh, people that were on the alternative spectrum. Even though it's kind of funny because in the original Scooby-Doo, they designed her, at, you know, and th this is at the time, you know, generations evolved. But back then, Velma's design was seen as not really attractive, but all like nerdy. Like nerdy was not equivalent to being attractive. But I think a certain demographic always viewed her as attractive, the original version, and now this version as well. Like, there's a whole fan base of people that really adore Velma's design. So, I don't know what the this guy's talking about. You're, like, smart. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, not a compliment. Anyway, have you seen... He just proved my point. He said, you're, you're smart. Not a compliment. This one people would say. No. Brenda's... Dead. What? No, she was my plan B. If you ever got too clingy, what happened? Ask Velma. Damn, there's just a lot of shit just happening back to back. I, I kind of like that about cartoons. It's just like hitting you from every direction consistently, not giving you time to breathe. I love that. That's my best. That's the best part about anything. Forget it. Mm. Oh, no. Mm. Not the butt. Dad, you can't just eat soggy fries from the takeout container. You have to crisp them in the oven first. I saw you eat a fry out of the vacuum cleaner last week, so spare me. I've had a lot. Did we ever see Velma's dad? Like, did we ever see any of the Scooby Gang's parents in the original, like in any iteration of Scooby Doo? No idea. I feel like one time we did see Daphne's mom or something. There's been a lot of Scooby-Doo shit over the years. Velma, I love you, but I'm a lawyer, so trust me when I say this. People only think you murdered Brenda because you- We're voted most revengey. Oh, no! Oh! No! <sighs> no, because you're a weirdo. Ever since All right, so obviously that was the old bait and switch trick. They tried to get the audience to think that he was gonna say something else, but then he said something completely different. I don't know, it's still kind of cringe. If you hadn't knocked up a Spooner's waitress while your actual wife is still missing. Velma, <sighs> that's not fair. All right, we're seven minutes in. We have uh, 18 minutes to go. We, we can do this. I'm also a basic bitch who doesn't even know how to use hashtags. No, I'm also- Listen. I really hate how every goddamn show nowadays, animated or otherwise, has to reference Twitter in some degree. 
or, or social media. And it's like, I get it. Fucking millions of people are on social media, especially kids. But goddamn, just leave social media out of it for one second. I don't want to hear about hashtags. I don't want to hear about what's trending. I just want to enjoy a good show. Oh God! I know, but it's about priorities. You it's gonna be a lot of nudity. What what is this scene for? Is like, is this gonna play a important role in the story later on? Is this is she the killer? Is she the killer? Like, if this is a legit mystery of who killed uh, that girl, I'm going to say it's her. The, the, the mistress, whatever, girl. Not that you care. Velma, real talk, Shiro to Shiro. Or maybe it's the baby. It could have been the little unborn baby. Let's do it, ride it, my pony. That was Brenda. Jesus Christ, right in front of my fucking sandwich, honestly. No, she's the main suspect in Brenda's murder. Daphne, sweetie, that was... Oh my God, legitimately terrifying. Like if I walked out of any place and I saw some shit like that, I would probably nope right the fuck back up in there too. I honestly, I, what is going on with this place? It's like the worst town on earth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess at the joke here. I'm gonna say like, they might want us to think there's something creepy behind there, but I think it's just people making out. Well, let, let, let's see how right I am there. I am real, a real man, father. <coughs> okay, I was wrong. Pleasantly surprised. I thought that was a pretty easy setup to a joke. I'm trying to pull myself together so I can be the man my father expects me to be. Damn, Dilf City. Sorry. Keep... And there it is. Like, again, it's gotta relate to some way back to Twitter or Instagram. Figuring that out was the first mystery I ever solved. Like the case of the missing idea juice. Gotta have that idea juice. But instead of feeling excited, I found my... So we got Miss Murder Lady Solves Murder. Miss Murder Lady. Fingerprint testing kit. Uh, Little Miss Forensics Lab. And then Stabble. Probably Scrabble, but copyright free. Okay, no jokes here. I thought there might be a joke here about something, but it seems pretty tame. Car Hold up. Let's see that license plate really quickly. What did that say? Not, not a, not a clue. Not a clue. Okay, that's pretty cheeky. That's fine. Except for her glasses and a single wrapped gift for me. So I put on my mom's glasses and vowed I wouldn't open her gift until I found her. And so that's her mom's glasses. All of this time, she's been wearing her, her lost mom's glasses. I started horrifying having horrifying hallucinations. This is all, this is all your fault, Velma. Why do you have to go and solve your own mystery? I like the touch of the little eyes in the background. They used to have those same eye designs in the original Scooby-Doo opening. So far, I'm loving the Easter eggs. Not really digging the jokes. I'll say that. Thelma, there you are. Norville? Oh what shit! The hell? Wait, Norville? Who the hell is that? That's Shaggy, isn't it? Shaggy Norville. That sounds disgusting. But I also know how to find out who did kill Brenda. His head looks like a carton of fries. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. In fact, it kind of looks like a shake. Like his head looks like a shake. And then his hair looks like the fries, which is weird. On TV shows, the malt shop owner is always a friendly black man or a spicy and meatball Italian. So they really are doubling down on a lot of racist stereotypes in this show, which is funny. Sometimes, okay. And they seem pretty harmless and innocent. And also, yes, my theory is correct. She is breaking a lot of fourth walls, or at least like talking to the audience directly. And you can tell. I think it has something to do with drugs, which I hate. So I had one of my reporters on the school. What was that all about? <laughs> God, that was terrible. Popular belief is that Shaggy was created from the idea of a stoner back then. 
or a, a hippie stoner, someone who just, you know, smokes weed. That's why he was so hungry all the time. He would, like, smoke weed, and then he'd be hungry and, and eat stuff, and that's kind of what plays into, like, him seeing things sometimes. He's like, whoa, what's going on, man? You know, and the way he talks, obviously, he, he was designed after a stoner. So this guy here, which is, his name is Norville, not Shaggy, just Norville. He is very openly and very cringily advocating against drugs and the show wants you to know that I, I, i'm not saying i don't like the idea of advocating against drugs i just don't like how they went about it just just say like you know i don't do drugs this is a very weird take weird way to do that not a fan. So I gave Brenda oh, okay. my camera to I photograph really anything suspicious there. And she said she got a wish. picture of something weird in the bathroom. <gasps> Holy crap! If I can find your camera on Sophie, I'd solve Brenda's murder and send mm -hmm. Sophie to jail. Keep calm. And... Uh, hard to see it. Keep calm and... U-V-I-G-N-O-N. What could that be? I don't know. Maybe they'll show it in clear later. Okay, but if this isn't Norville's camera, who killed Brenda? <laughs> oh no, the camera! That was such a bad line. Why are you saying it like that? Why was, what's up with that delivery? Oh no, the camera! <laughs> what the, f <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is getting, very sexy. Heart attack! Ah! Thelma, what is this? Did you eat all the gummy vitamins again? Damn it, Amon! So your daughter is laying on the floor, scrambling, saying, literally voicing heart attack, and you're just like, what are you doing? Get off of the ground, you idiot. Keep calm and solve, solvine on. I don't know what that is. Solvine? Or is the G and O solving? Solving on? Solving on? Am I like saying a, a joke? Am I, am I being joked right now? Solving on? I don't know. I believe you about your hallucinations. But Velma, I told you this. Your mother didn't go missing because I'm sorry. Her. I thought you killed Brenda because she figured out the secret to your diner's popularity. I get that. And I'm sorry I didn't believe you about your hallucinations. But Velma... I told you this. Your mother didn't go missing because you solved a mystery. What the fuck is going on? Wait a minute. Damn, she found the idea juice. You always hide your idea juice from your children. She left because she hated us. Yes. So you can stop <laughs> She... She left because she hated us. That's accurate. <laughs> That's good. Finally, this guy delivers a good line. That was why? Does, why would she do that? That's so disgusting. Wow. Are you an exchange student from a more sexually liberated country? No, it's Velma. I'm just unburdened by the belief I cost- What's up with these guys' eyes in the back? Are they high as fuck? Jesus. Maybe. That might be the joke. They might be high. Their eyes are literally red. Like, look at their shirt, and then look at their eyes. It's a clear difference. Uh, no it's not. <laughs> God damn. Goodness gracious. He's <laughs> freaking- she was gonna straight up murder her with a fucking ah. What do you call that thing? Damn. What's the name of that that device? I feel like it starts with a P. I can't remember it though. But that was gonna be murder. She was. <laughs> Everyone's throwing tomatoes and bananas and shit, and she just throws a fucking very sharp object. Oh my god! What's going on in this school? <laughs> she just throws it right back. So we are 18 minutes in. We have about seven minutes left. I have yet to see Scooby Dooby. Bring us Scooby Dooby. 
That is unrealistic. My girlfriend would tell you removing makeup is not easy as just throwing some water on your face. She has to go through a whole maneuver. She has to calculate the times. It's a whole ordeal. She changed her shirt. What, what happened there? When did that happen? Isn't she still in school? Oh my God. I don't know if they're trying to purposefully deliver these lines very bad, just to be ironic about things. Um, if they are, it's not funny. If they aren't, it's just terrible. Norville. Hey, I was. Are drugs destroying our school? Drugs equal bad. Stay away from shifty people. They could be dealing drugs. De drug dealers, aka candy men, hang out in dark alleys. Why are they? Why are they so bent on shoving that in our faces? Like, okay, he doesn't do drugs. What is? What is the point of that? Just to say how different he is from the original Shaggy? Who also did not actively do drugs on this show or anywhere. It's just a theory. What is the point? What is the, what is the message here? Why wouldn't he? If I were a rich white dude, I'd kill everybody just to get away with it. <gasps> what? I'm bored. Off my Norville, job. get off my job. <laughs> okay, that was a... Pretty funny joke. Probably the first joke I've laughed at. Second, if you include the earlier part, but I mostly laughed because, well, it was my own joke, really. I give them props for not having her have some kind of very cheesy insert song for her, for her ringtone. That is, that is a pro that's a plus, because that's very cliche to have. Very cheap and not funny joke. Just remember these hallucinations are only in your head. So I kind of, this is, it's portraying itself as a mystery show and I kind of have the tendency to kind of keep notes of all the little things that the show is showing us and telling us. I don't know, I feel like I'm going to be disappointed because at the end it might not be a, a very well thought out mystery and, and honestly the joke might, the, the killer might be some kind of disappointing twist or something we could never have seen coming. And so I'm kind of, I don't want to retain these notes because I'm, I don't want to be disappointed at the end. But if they are setting up for a big reveal for whoever this killer is, then at the moment, there really is no big clues. I mean, at least nothing I'm seeing. And again, if I would have started taking those notes from the beginning of the episode, then maybe I could have thought of something. But at the moment, I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's any clear answer based on the information we know already, but maybe I'm giving this show too much credit. Oh, oh, oh God, I'm starting to hallucinate. You just said those were over. But it's going to be. Oh shit, did you see those You're pictures? You're not saying anything. Hold up. You've got uh, obviously Baphomet and this picture here, which I don't know if that's supposed to be someone, but it's obviously someone that's in a straight jacket. Oh, it's Fred's house, right? I think. true i like you like 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 you wait what no you don't <laughs> you're like a brother to me that's hilarious damn <laughs> what is with this what is with torturing that guy jesus Cause Velma. <gasps> brenda also photographed this <gasps> i haven't finished going through puberty yet i'm a late bloomer it's okay i'm just gonna do to you what i did to brenda all right <gasps> well clearly it wants you to think Fred did it. It's just too obvious, and obviously there's a joke coming up. Um, I'm just not really sure what the joke could be. You saved my life. You're not. So those two shots to the leg would definitely make him bleed out. Very weird target. Um, you want to shoot them in the foot, so at the very least they kind of can't really like that. It's just very dangerous targets to shoot a, a perpetrator in the legs to try to disable him. But then again, these these cops are women, so maybe that's why they didn't know what the fuck they're doing. Loop the loop roller coaster last week, so uh, we need a win. Wait, you think I killed Brenda? Hey, so if you no longer feel guilty for your mom's disappearance, so I know the episode's not done. They still got a minute and a half left, but um. 
They didn't solve anything. What? what did, why'd they just leave the house and they act like it's all fixed? Those two cops shot Fred in the legs for no reason at all. No fucking reason at all. He didn't do anything. And they just left nonchalantly, put him in handcuffs. What is going on right now? Huh? Uh, Velma? Huh? Okay, so that was terrible. They didn't find the, I'm just still stuck on that. They didn't find Fred. They didn't prove Fred killed anyone. First of all, he clearly said he didn't kill her. Um, he just bribed her to keep quiet about his his uh, insecurity. So why is this show? I don't understand. Like, why is she acting like they caught Fred? Who was the bad guy? They still didn't find out who killed the her they still didn't find out who killed her and obviously there's now another victim like i feared there was no reveal at the end and there probably won't be there's just too many clues that kind of lead to nothing too many gags and not an actual mystery show which i had my hopes up but um it doesn't even feel like a cliffhanger it just seems like an incomplete episode like how am i supposed to feel at the end of this they, they, they didn't catch the killer. Nothing's resolved. Nothing's answered. And I'm not really that inclined to watch the next episode. It's not a cliffhanger. It's just unfinished, it feels like. It, that, that's a really bad feeling. There's 43 seconds left, so maybe there's an after credit scene. Let's, let's see. Yeah, it's shit. His name is really just Norville. It's not Shaggy at all. So we got Norville, Fred, Velma, Daphne. Why did they feel the need to change... Shaggy's name out of all of them or is Norville not Shaggy maybe Shaggy's a whole different person and also where the fuck is Scooby Dooby he he wasn't in the episode at all no no after credits scene well that's disappointing uh, but so is this episode it wasn't really good uh, episode one I don't know how many episodes they are going to have, but uh, I will be watching them all because I'm not a little pansy bitch. I finished what I started and uh, we'll see what what happens. So far, not looking too good. I don't care about the race switching or anything like that. Like the character designs, you know, it it's artistic liberty. They made changes. If you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. But it's just for this show. It's obviously not changing every like not every aspect of Velma is going to be this Velma this is just a very specific Velma for this show where she's the main character so we'll just see what what's going on but so far not looking like a good episode not liking the bad jokes 80% of their jokes are a very far miss like end of the earth type of miss not good jokes to me at least uh maybe I'm just a dirty boomer I don't know um and it's a mystery show, but the mystery is, one, not really intriguing. And two, it doesn't seem like they are actively putting clues for the viewers to see and kind of guess who the, vic who the uh, perpetrator is. So I hate that. I like mystery shows for the mystery of it. This just seems like a big, this seems like a big parody and unappealing. But otherwise, I'll give this episode, I'm going to have to give it a, it wasn't terrible. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Maybe like a 4.5 out of 10. Um, it could have been a lot better, but I do appreciate it for what it is. We're going to be watching the next episodes as well. Probably, tw let's say there's 12 episodes. We'll watch them all. Jackass motorcycle guy. Sorry about that. Hopefully this show destroys my expectations, but we'll see. Oh, also subscribe and leave a comment and leave a like and... Uh, um, I'll see you on the next one.